Did you know that up to 700 samplies can bite a dog in a single night? I'm Bob Killick Kendrick, a leech monasticist specialist, and I'm your host for this second edition of What's Biting My Dog. A dog is often a precious member of the family. It gives you comfort, companionship, fun, and a good excuse to do some exercise. Taking care of your dog's health is part of dog ownership and should be taken seriously by everyone with a dog. A regular visit to the vet for vaccinations, parasite control, and general checkup is standard in many countries. When living or spending time in an area where the sandfly is active, dog owners should be aware of the risks involved. The sandfly can usually be found in warm places, such as around the Mediterranean. It's a little fly, often confused with a mosquito. A sandfly can sometimes be carrying a parasite called leishmania. And like mosquitoes, sandflies suck blood. When a sandfly that's carrying a parasite bites a dog, it can give it leishmaniasis. You can recognize an infected dog by various clinical signs, for example, enlarged lymph nodes, skin inflammation, and weight loss. Once the earliest signs are observed, go to your veterinarian as soon as possible and explain that the dog has been in a risk area. Your veterinarian will examine your dog run some tests, and in many cases, start treating your dog. Until today, there's no medicine that can cure a leishmania infected dog completely. And there's always a chance of a relapse. So have your dog checked annually. The best way to protect your dog is to ensure it isn't bitten by sandflies. So keep your dog inside the house during the hours when sandflies are the most active. That's usually at dusk. And put a protective collar on your dog that will reduce the chance of sandflies biting by up to 95% for the whole sandfly season. Do you want to know how ticks find a host to feed on? We're going to talk about this and lots of other interesting things about ticks in the next episode of What's Biting My Dog. And me.